clan chess battles came out, I just, uh, we just completed ours. So at the end of this video, you guys will see the uh, chest opening. Here's our clan chest, we opened it. So today we're gonna watch all of the uh, gameplays that I just had. I'm gonna show you some good examples uh, of good teamwork. Then I'm gonna show you some uh, bad examples of teamwork. Usually that's be when people like, one player does one thing, another player does another thing. The best way to work is to let your cards accentuate the others. He had a rocket in his deck and I had a goblin barrel. So we actually perfectly uh, pulled off the uh, rocket barrel and what that does is like I throw the barrel and then he throws the rocket and then the barrel hides behind the tail of his rocket. It's really fun. These are like making the clan kind of more friendlier, you get to know one another, you... I don't know, it's just, it's more fun, it's more exciting. It's bringing out the true aspect of network. So today, incidentally, I also have uh, some snack food again. Uh, here, we have, a, uh, we have a muffin. Cranberries again. I also have some uh, candy. These are some kind of uh, Ukrainian candies or something, I don't know. But basically, it's chocolate covered in, uh, oh, marmalade covered in chocolate. Basically, they're kind of here. I ate a lot of them already, so a little embarrassing to show that. Oh, and we have this little, it's a kinder. All right, so let's see what's going on in the game, though. So here it is. So basically, it's a hippo. Look at that chocolate. Really good, really good. Okay, let's get back to the game. It was really interesting to see just how well the dynamic is with some of my clanmates. With some of the clanmates, it's not because they don't play well or they have bad decks. It's just the synergy was just so bad between both of our decks. There was one player I played with and we just, we couldn't do it. We started working a little bit better towards like game two and three, and we we're actually able to come back from that. So we actually, you know, they say third time's the charm. So we won on the third round. So at this point, this guy activated my King Towers. And so I throw in a Goblin Barrel at him because I'm trying to three star him. I'm not really trying to keep the pressure. I'm just trying to three star him. So we're zapping. We're putting a lot of pressure. It's down to 341 already. My partner plays the other side, which is right. You got to distract. So then the last 13 seconds, we throw arrows, fireball, and there's 14 HP left. And we just couldn't do it. I mean, it just, the clock just clicked too fast. And I threw the goblin barrel, but that travels too long. So at this point, I partner up with the player that I have had really bad synergy with. Uh, you guys are gonna see just a good example of just how bad the synergy can be. And I'm not really sure why that is, like I said, but at this point, I just go in for a classic push. Start with the furnace, put in my spear gobs, and uh, which are clutch, and then I throw in the goblin barrel. My partner plays the left side. Uh, he had a sparky. So at this point, in my opinion, it's best to just play one side. I go in a second battle with my uh, clanmate Syed. I'm like trying to see how can we work together. So what I'm realizing to do, let him play first. Let him play first. I, you know, I'm not gonna be all ego here. Hey, my, my deck is the best. So at this point, he drops his Sparky. I want the Sparky to come all the way on the other side because I just know how strong it is. So I'm trying to, I threw my Skarmy down trying to protect it. So now at this point, that's exactly what you want. Unfortunately, the guy had Fireball. Our right tower is down at 1040. We still can't get any hits on their towers. So this is not really looking good for us over here. So he comes with a balloon. I'm thinking we have a chance here, but there's just so many buildings on the other side that uh, we just, we really don't have a chance. So we end up losing this round. So that was actually a very good game. And I think our teamwork got a little bit better. So we're gonna go in on the third round here and you guys are gonna see some magic right now. So here, at this point, uh, Sayed uh, creates a, uh, a request. I accept it. So now we're saying good luck. So here are his cards again, if you guys didn't get a look at that. So here are his cards. We're gonna start this push very, very slowly. I know what I'm doing. You see, our language is the cards. Okay, our language is the cards. So we're gonna try to meet each other together. So he starts with a Sparky, so I protect it. I put my prints in the front for, it's, it's a little bit early, honestly, but I had to put it for his, uh, uh, for his bowler. So then he puts a Valk in there. I throw some arrows because I'm seeing that the Valk is very low. So that gets that. So he throws arrows too. So that was very good. So at this point he had a, uh, these, uh, these guys had a tornado. So that shut down the uh, Sparky push. We got away with just a hundred uh, damage on the tower. Not a lot. 
So uh, I throw a barrel, he comes in with the balloon. The, his, uh, his Electro Wizard wasn't able to stop that, so we gotta push in. As soon as I saw this push, I knew we were gonna take this uh, tower down. So now it's down to 40. I'm like, that's it. We have this game in the bag. And we did. So we did. In the next few portions of the video, you guys will see me playing with this uh, teammate, Lepi. Now, he had a giant skeleton deck. Because I knew what his cards were and I knew what his tactic was, I was able to support that. And in the meantime, using my goblin barrel, my arrows to fight off minions, all other combination to protect his push, but also get my push across. So at this point, I'm playing with Lepi. I know exactly what he's doing. And when, he, when his giant skeleton went across the tower, I knew those guys were low on elixir and we actually had him in a really, really good spot for a win. So, uh, and they wasted their zap and my uh, goblin barrel locked on and it was perfect. We got the tower just within like the first 20, 30 seconds. So here, I got a muff. So at this point, this guy has a uh, two princes. That's really bad synergy, okay? That's not really good to do that. And you as a team just lost eight elixir. He's going for our furnace because most of their cards are just weak to uh, fire spirits. So I think they had a push where their minions were supporting something. So they were trying to get it out. And we actually uh, three crowned these guys. This was my first three crown uh, of this challenge. And I was really, really surprised. And so Lepi and I, we made a really, really good team. So here we go. We got 1600 gold, uh, which gives me 70,000. We got two goblin huts. We got three giants. We got 40 elite barbs which I really don't use. We got nine hogs. Then we got 13 tombstones. And then we got 200 spear gobs. Okay, this is the card that I use. And then we got three bowlers, which I actually unlocked from the shop. But dude, I got 200 spear gobs and that is exactly what I'm